popsicles right in the sky. Once, there was a popsicle named Hermy. When he was born, he was so multicolored that everyone around him got fascinated by his colors. The other popsicles always gathered around him to count the number of colors he had. He also had one unique color that nobody had ever seen before. That color, some thought was silver, some thought it was blue. That color turned into shining white light at night. Hammy always tried to figure out that color whenever he stood in front of the mirror, but then he said, Whatever, and ran outside to be with his friends for an exciting game of hide and seek. One night, when Hammy was sleeping, he dreamed that he got picked up by two fluffy white hands and he was flying in the sky. He found himself getting into deep, deep sky and then in the clouds. Those fluffy white hands then put him on one of the soft clouds and said, Hammy dear, how are you? What? Hammy replied, Am I awake? Yes, you are, my dear. Those fluffy hands answered in a thick tone. Hammy's heart began racing so fast he could not breathe for a while. I am not supposed to be here and I should be on my bed. Hammy nearly screamed in a shrill voice. Don't scream, those fluffy hands ordered Hammy. Today I am going to tell you a secret about your color that nobody has ever seen before. Okay, and who are you? Hemi asked with a suspicious tone. I'm your friend. You were born on the clouds. That's why you have color that nobody has ever seen before, replied Fluffy Hans. If I'm born on clouds, then how did I get on earth? Hemi asked with a little suspicion in his voice. My name is Cloud Sam. I'm your uncle. Fluffy Hans replied. One day, your uncle June went to earth to give it a little shower as it was getting dry. You were with him. You asked him that you wanted to have a swing on a banana tree. Uncle June put you on one of the branches of the banana tree and he went away to give a water shower to earth. When he returned to pick you up, the kids who were playing near by banana tree got so fascinated by your colors that they took you away and you went away with them. So Uncle June had to return to clouds without you. We missed you so much, but you were happy with those kids and you have become friends with other popsicles, replied Uncle Sam. Oh yeah, I love my friends, little Hammy giggled. Uncle Sam, can you please give me a ride on clouds? asked Hammy. Sure, son, Uncle Sam replied in a fatherly tone. Then Uncle Sam put Hammy on his back and flew slowly around the clouds. Hammy never expected the sky to be so extraordinarily beautiful. He saw stars, millions of stars. They were shining like little diamonds. They were so close to Hammy that Hammy almost touched a few of them. The stars yawned when Hammy touched and went back to sleep. We don't have lights here, Hammy, as you have seen on Earth. Whenever we need lights in our rooms, we ask the star to accompany us to our rooms. Then our whole house shines like a diamond. Of course, we have to give little stars some treats like dessert or some freshly made ice cream or some freshly fresh honey from the jungle. Uncle Sam grinned. Please show me your home. Little Hammy asked Uncle Sam. Okay, son. 
Uncle Sam replied and flew Hammy to Uncle Sam's little home. Uncle Sam's home is made of fluffy little clouds and in each room a shining star was hanging. Uncle Sam's bed was made of birds feathers and his dining table was one beautifully clad log. He got cups and plates made of seashells. Uncle Sam gave Hammy a pot of honey and ice cream. The flavors of ice cream were so yummy that Hammy never tasted such flavors on earth. After having two bowls of full of ice cream, Hammy felt sleepy. Uncle Sam said to Hammy, "Son, it's time to go back to Earth. I will come and visit you every weekend." Before I flew you to Earth, let me tell you about this shining little color that you have, which no one on Earth has ever seen before. When you were born, your aunt Sassy, the shining little star, gave you this shiny little color as a gift. He said, "One day you will become the most popular popsicle on Earth." Little Hammy went to sleep in Uncle Sam's lap, and the next morning, when he woke up, he was lying on his bed.